An Invocation to Eshu, Guardian of the Crossroads by Sheena Ajibola Richardson opened a conversation on Afro-diasporic dance connections in Brazil and Trinidad carnivals. This took place at Lacoui, the Idecator Group's headquarters on Warner Street in Port of Spain. The leader of the workshop, Brazilian archivist Andresa Jorge, spoke to the universal power of art to address social issues. For me, when I think about art, I think about subjectivity, the possibility of feel, of create, and I'm also a human rights defender. And when I think about humanity, a human right, I think about art because the art is the more pure manifestation of this subjectivity, creativity. So for me, being a human rights defender is connect with the artistic thought, uh, the creation and the and fight against the whole process of oppression and dehumanization. In addition to dance, Ms. Jorge described why she also draws on spirituality, specifically the life and stories of Oya, to fuel the work that she does. So when I think about the, the women's struggle or fight against the, the, oppression, the oppression against women, we need to think about the different um, possibility of being women. So the inspiration in, um, in Oya means that. We brought this inspiration in the Yoruba deity for talk with and among women about the other example inspiration for being women, for, for force, for love, for everything. Elements of resistance combined with the mockery of slave masters, the fact that people sought control of their bodies when everything else was taken from them, the significance of the circle, be it the Horda in Brazil or the Gael in Trinidad, as well as multiple examples of shared Bantu and Congo influence were reflected upon. And all of this was before the workshop invited participants to dance and feel these shared traditions. I'm DK Rosta, hoping that we see ourselves for TTT News.